Hi, welcome to our e-commerce and cart part of this case study series. Today we'll build a cart using Ultraport mostly and some free click fix feature. We'll build something very simple that lets people add products to a cart and then there is a lot going on around it like inventory management, payments that you know you can check our other case studies um, to solve this out. So let's start by setting up the foundations for our e-commerce system. First, we need to create a new object called products, where we will store essential product information, like a name in text, the image, the description, the cost price, the available inventory, and also an update inventory field, so we can you know, change the available inventory by adding or removing products. Then we have a line items object, which is crucial for handling individual items within a customer's cart. So here we will have fields like quantity, total cost, and a status, either active or hidden. And finally, we have our cart object. It aggregates the total cost from the active line items, and it tracks the cart's overall status and unique identifier for each customer station. Now, to link all of this together, we established three relationships. One cart will have many line items. Also, one product will have many line items. So, de facto, line items create a many-to-many -many relationship between cart and products. And then I need a final relationship, one-to-one, -one, between contact and cart, so we know which cart to show them on the front end. Uh, normally, we would also have like one to many cart relationship between contacts and cart, but as I said, I'm not going to go too deep in this one because it's complex enough. Okay, that's the setup. Now we can move on to our pages. So the first page will be pretty simple. It's a manage inventory page. In there, we will have two things. First, a new product form with a different product field, so we can add a new product to the inventory and then a dynamic block with all our inventory, and within each uh, block we will have a form so we can update the inventory directly on this page. And you can see this uh, in the demo available over under the overview tab. And that's pretty much it for this page. Now the next page is the most complex one. Uh, it's our shop page. Like any page they would arrive and they would see you know, products, add them to cart, that sort of stuff. So here, please do follow the instructions in the tutorial to the letter, uh, because it's a bit complex. But basically, we'll have a hidden block on the page that will create a cookie and a cart for a visitor without any, like, it's a hidden form submit, basically. Um, this will allow us to store our line items inside this cart. So there is a lot to it. I won't go over it too much in this video, but you can find the shortcuts we use by viewing the source on our demo pages here. Okay, so now that we have this dynamic uh, cookie form, let's call it, we need our cart button that will appear if, you know, if they have a cart, and that will go to the cart which we will bid after. And then we just have our shop. So it's dynamic blocks, three products per row, with our name, image, everything you would expect from a shop. And then in there, I will directly add my quantity field of a line item form. So I'm able to let people, you know, pick an inventory and select and add to cart which will create a line item, which will do what we want. We are adding a few click-fix tricks in there, like we don't let people go over inventory for each block, and so when they click Add to Cart, it will add to Cart. So now we need the Cart page, uh, you can clone that from the invoice templates that you got from part two for the design. But basically, a cart is just dynamic blocks that will show each line item and a total, right? 
Uh, we added here a red cross icon to erase a line item. Um, you know, we also let people change the quantities without a bit advanced feature. Again, you can check the shortcuts for how to do that. But that's basically all the cart is. Display the line items related to the dynamic cart that is displayed here. And that's pretty much all we needed to build here. Uh, we can add an automation, like we, we need an automation, you know, to update the inventory uh, with the update inventory field, which will be used either when a cart is paid, for example, you will update the update inventory field, or when someone adds products to the inventory. And that's it for this case study, and probably for this whole series, you know, so I hope you enjoyed the six parts. I may come to revisit later to add, you know, new features or ideas, but that's it for now. Have a great day, and I'll see you next week.